Hey builders, so we're going to continue the taping up of the R5 dome. Uh, we did part one yesterday of taping the lines. Today we're going to talk about taping up uh, the top section of covering uh, or painting the red on his pie panels. Uh, this will be a little bit simpler in that all we're going to do is tape over the entire surface and then we'll use an X-Acto just to uh, trim out the locations where we want the red. So let's begin. Just using um, some purple tape from 3, I think this is from 3M. It is, it's for delicate surfaces. Uh, it's not as sticky as the green tape and still seems to work really well for what we're doing. We don't need to get down into uh, our previously taped areas, so we'll just try to stay away from that. I'm just overlapping about an eighth of an inch or so. On this curved surface, just using the one inch tape instead of a two inch tape so that it can lay flatter. The two inch tape you might want to buckle where the one inch tape will take shape a little easier. For the base white, I don't think I mentioned that in part one, um, the base white paint is just a uh, Krylon satin white. I think I put maybe four to five coats on it. So now that we've got the tape on, I'm just going to go through, use my fingernails just to locate all the pie panels. Try not to press hard enough that you actually tear the tape. Could have used the same Kapton tape on this side, but the lines don't need to be as crisp on this side uh, since we'll be weathering inside the pie panels anyway, or inside the pie, the cracks around the pie panels. All right, so then we'll take an X-Acto. I'm going to try to cut on the inside edge against the pie panel itself. Because I don't want to get as much of the red into the, the trough or the crack. It'll just be harder to weather. Just 
use your fingernail or a tool to set that in. And then just repeat for your other panels. Forget to push that tape down in. did start out with a nice sharp exacto blade so it's something a common mistake a lot of people make is you end up using a dull blade and you end up tearing your tape instead of cutting so always change your blade and dispose of your blades properly
two more to go. one. Okay, that concludes part two of taping up the pie panels. Uh, part three will include taping everything up that needs to be masked off for the final painting, and then we'll put the poly on and we'll be good to go. See you next time.